Hey everyone and hope you're doing fine. Today I would like to talk about screen uh, to word point and word to screen point uh, functions which is attached to camera but before we proceed I would like to say sorry that I didn't create any video recently because I was very busy creating my own game and I finally finished my game and published it on Google Play and it is called Jellyfall. You can find the link in the description or you can search for Jellyfall in Google Play. Uh, it, I would appreciate if you can comment or rate the game. So thanks. So let's start. Let's first click on C sharp script. Uh, and name it screen to word point and let's create another script and name it word to screen point okay that's I think both of them okay let's first go to screen to word point and let's Say we need the camera and this cam and the cam and we need a vector in order to hold our position. So position and we will initialize the position here by new vector p and Okay, and here we can say in update every time we click on the screen because our screen is a 2D dimension and you cannot um, easily say or move with your mouse in, on your screen as a 3D, like in a 3D world. So when you move your mouse, it just moves up and down and left and right. And it cannot go deep inside the screen or out of the screen. So we need to convert whenever we click on the screen, uh, which starts from 0 to the resolution side of the screen, into a coordinate in 3D world. So let's go back to our script and say if input dot get mouse button down, we press the that button and our position should be input mouse position. So I will not, uh, let's add this 10, but I will just comment it out for the time being. I will come back to it later. So it need to convert the point into 3D point so the camera uh, sorry, no. this cam should take the um, screen to point toward point it need to take the position and uh, it will uh, give us a 3D uh, position. So um, before we uncomment this, we will go back to the screen and we will just create an empty game object. We will name it point manager and let's attach this script here and it asks for our camera to be attached. So we will attach this and we will save our scene and let's play it. So this is my old test. So let's click. So wherever you click, it has the same coordinate. It's kind of weird, but this is the same coordinate as the camera. So the reason is that the, we watch the screen from the camera perspective uh, in the same z-axis. It doesn't go deep inside the 
screens because we are in the same line as the camera so for that purpose I gave uh, the Z uh, for the position uh, 10 or you can put whatever you want just something not the camera so I give 10 so let's go back and it and this time it gives different positions every time this is good um, this can be used for like drawing uh, like when you wanna create a paint or draw for your screen so this is uh, how you can convert the camera into uh, like 3d work position so uh, but they have the opposite. Let's say you have a game object and you want to know where, because this cube is located in a 3D world, but on your screen it is actually located uh, here uh, in a 2D uh, like screen. So we want to see where it is located if it is it was in a 2D screen so let's go back here and uh, let's again get the camera this can and a vector to in order to hold our new screen position and the game object the uh, our object that we want to get the position so um, we just need one position so we will use just the start function for this purpose and we can say that screen x y is jam World to screen point 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 and here should be the object position so object at transform at position okay now we need to see it on our screen our console so y x and we will add in a space in between screen xy y okay hope everything is done correct oh this is we don't need that so save the script save the scene if it's not saved, okay, let's back here. Okay, let's. Oh, we haven't attached, I guess. Yes, we haven't attached our script, so let's attach. It asks for the camera and it asks for the game object to get the to convert the position. Save the scene. Yep, this is the position for game object in our screen. So this is the screen point for our game object. So hope you understood how you can use these two functions in your game. Thanks for watching. Bye.